into the unknown and discover beauty there. Good afternoon. I wanted to talk real quick about, well, I wanted to ask you a question. Or you can see it as a question that you ask yourself. How often do you go outside just for a walk? And also, what kind of route do you take? Do you just walk a couple of blocks? Do you go to a place to go for a walk? Do you decide before you go where you're going? Or do you just go and see where you're heading? Now, what I do, it varies. Most of the time, I think of I, I mean, I decide like an area that I go to. Like for example, today I felt like going to uh, Schaibeek. It's a um, very small but quite old park in Beverwijk, the city where I live in now. City. Um, but it has, it has quite some history, but that's not the point. I decided to go there today and I sat there on a couch, on a bench. That was my plan, to go to Schreibeek, sit on a bench and soak up the sun and birds, songs and the fresh air, well, under this factory. Um, you get the point. As I was sitting there, I, I got up and I walked through the park and I went outside of the park and I found a new, um, yeah, laantje. It's a Dutch word. Laan is like a different lane, a, a small lane. Um, but it was quite hidden. I never saw it before and I decided to, to step into that unknown lane, small lane. Um, it was like the, 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 the ground was of uh, earth and pebbles. It wasn't like a regular road. Uh, and this is um, a key thing of this, the, the subject of this video, because like I, I grew up in this city, so I know like the basic geography of the of the area. So I knew which direction I was heading. I knew what I could expect at a certain point. But this small lane was new to me. And I discovered some new pl places, even though it's tiny. And I followed this creek. Oh no, it's not a creek. It's yeah, a beek. Yeah. Um, how you call that? Stream. I think it's stream in English. Um, oh, such lovely places, but very small. And still, it's difficult here for me to shut shut off the the sounds of the factory and everything. But my point is, I try to find beauty in life. And I, I, I enjoy doing my best to discover new things and to step into the unknown and discover beauty there. That is the reason why I make this video because I want, I want to motivate you to to step into the unknown, to do something else that then, than what you have planned in the first place. Because discovering new beautiful things really does something so wonderful and powerful to you. It is healing, 
but it also gives you a boost of energy while at the same time calms you down because it helps you to um, remove certain thought patterns you know uh, I also would like to give you the tip to observe and then especially focus on the natural things that you uh, find during these walks and of course I mean during my walks I also see the city things I mean I, would, I told this is the third time I mentioned the factory but also streets you know during these years they built like big streets for the factory and it's just and it, and, it, and it just gets on my nerves, you know, when I focus on that. Like, it, it can really get me mad. It can lower my vibration. But I, I let it, but at the same time, I don't stick to that. I can think if I see it, or if I smell it, or if I hear it, you know, it can frustrate me a little bit. And I can think, and I allow my, my thoughts, like, these fucking roads are so unnatural. Oh, there are these sounds again. Oh, I smell the dirty, dirty air. And then I let it go. And I look at the stream and I see these wonderful plants. Oh, it, 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 it almost made me time travel to a time where that was the only thing. These were the only things. I mean, natural, natural environment health so i refocus to what helps me to what makes me happy to what heals me to what motivates me to what helps me grow and explore and move just do it do it go for walks and discover new tracks even if you're not allowed to go off track and this photo that i put next to me in this video is a photo i took in i think 2016 probably summer um at one of my favorite places uh gasperplas park amsterdam zuidoost belmer amsterdam southeast belmer for the English speaking people. Uh, I used to live there. It's my favorite favorite area in Amsterdam. It's that's my city, that's where my heart is. And that's the that's the most natural area in Belmer. It's so lovely, it's surrounded by a lake. That place really helped me um, during my first stages of like real healing. Um, and besides that, I choose this this picture because this photo because it it really shows symbolically what I'm talking about in this video. In the middle of all this green, you see this this darker area within the bushes. It's almost like a portal, right? It's almost like a tunnel or a door into a different, um, into a different space, into a different area, into a different dimension, however you would like to call it. When you're standing there at the place where I took the photo and you look at that dark, dark area, that dark tunnel, you don't know what to expect, right? You don't know what, what is there. and and I learned to step into those places and by doing that discovering again discovering beauty in the dark and not being afraid of the unknown and that not being afraid of the unknown gives you such A light feeling 
a calm feeling and after it also an excitement about new things it makes you feel secure about yourself and yeah it can help you and that can help you in so many parts of life so go ahead don't be afraid don't be afraid